Hello, you are watching a news bulletin of IPR department with me, Chiring Eden. Let's head straight to the news. Starting with COVID-19 national figures, India saw a single-day rise of 15,786 new COVID-19 cases. The active cases have declined to 1,75,000 plus, the lowest in 232 days, according to the Union Health Ministry's data update this morning. 231 have died in the last 24 hours. The daily rise in new coronavirus infections has been below 30,000 for 28 straight days and less than 50,000 daily new cases have been reported for 117 consecutive days now. The daily positivity rate was recorded at 1.19%. Sikkim recorded 19 cases on Thursday, taking the positivity rate to 5.2%. On Thursday, India achieved the milestone of administering 1 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses as part of the national immunization drive. Now in state affairs, the state-level launch and workshop on Swachha Survection Gramin 2021 was held at the Conference Hall Rural Development Department on Thursday. The program was chaired by the Principal Secretary RDDCS Rao and was joined by the Special Secretary Commission Director ADC's uh, Development North and East Districts along with their respective district coordinators. ADCs from South and West Districts with their coordinators joined the program via video conference. The Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation Ministry of Jal Shakti has been carrying out Swachha Survection Gramin since 2018. The objective of the program is to encourage large-scale citizen participation, rank states and districts according to key Swachhita parameters, compare the performance of districts and states, a certain progress of Swachhita on the ground, through a survey, engage and solicit feedback from citizens and evaluate implementation of solid and liquid waste management arrangements in the districts. 88 villages across Sikkim shall be randomly surveyed for this year's SSG. The workshop was held to inform, engage, familiarize and support the state and district level officials on the various first sets of the survey methodology, survey process and indicators of the new SSG protocol. Now an update on the national highway condition. NH10, the arterial route connecting Sikkim and Kalampong with Siliguri is likely to remain closed for two days, even as the 114-kilometer Gangtok Siliguri Highway was cleared on Wednesday evening after remaining closed for the day, following multiple landslides triggered by incessant rain. Another landslide took place at Birikdara near Rambi, snapping the arterial road link shortly after the route was opened for one-way traffic. According to the highway officials, landslides had occurred at around Several places along the NH10 with the last one at Seti Jora cleared at around 8.30 p.m. Wednesday. However, about half an hour later, about 15 to 20 meters of road stretch caved in at Birik Dara. Highway officials maintain that they are trying to cut a side of the mountain to restore traffic, which they said could take two days' time. Presently, vehicles from Sikkim and Kalimpong to Siliguri are being diverted via Jora Banglo. On Thursday, overall coverage for India's COVID-19 vaccination drive exceeded the 1 billion mark, marking a watershed moment. According to the COVID site, the digital platform used to manage immunization records, a total of 1 billion vaccination doses had been provided to eligible recipients at 9.47 a.m. on Thursday morning. About 75% of India's total eligible adult population has received at least one dose, while around 30% are fully immunized. The country of nearly 1.4 billion people is the second to exceed a billion cumulative doses after the most populous country. China did so in June. The achievement was accomplished more than 10 months after India's COVID-19 vaccination program began on January 16th. Prime Minister Narendra Modi termed it a triumph of Indian science in India's fight against the pandemic. For a country that had supply constraints and vaccine reluctance in the early stages, reaching the 1 billion mark is a significant accomplishment in and of itself. All major monuments under the Archaeological Survey of India were illuminated as part of the celebrations planned to mark the achievement. Ships anchored on Indian ports 
hooted at a pre-decided time while artists were working on 100 different ideas across 100 districts to celebrate the milestone at the main celebration event at Delhi's Red Fort. The longest national flag will be unfurled while an anthem and a short film on key vaccination components will be released to mark the occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today addressed the nation on the completion of 1 billion vaccine doses. He said it was not just a number but a symbol of the country's ability and of new India. WHO chief also congratulated the country and PM Modi for this achievement. Director General of the World Health Organization took to Twitter to send out his best wishes and congratulate the Indian government for achieving this important milestone. This is all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page, that is the Government of Sikkim official page, for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Please continue wearing masks, wash your hands regularly, and maintain physical distance as our fight against COVID-19 still continues. Thank you for tuning in.